This is a demonstration of egg tempera painting technique. Egg tempera is a technique that was used uh, in Western Europe in uh, the medieval time period and also the early Renaissance time period. So there's a number of things that you will need for this. Everybody will get one of these. This is a piece of canvas board. The first thing you need to do is divide it roughly in half and put your name in one corner. At the top, on one side, write egg tempera and the other side write oil. You're going to eventually have a compare and contrast, so you should have something like this. All right. Uh, in the medieval time period, uh, artists would have ground up their colors from rocks and other natural sources. We're going to do a bit of a mixture of that. We're going to grind up our own. We're also going to cheat a little bit. Uh, I have some pre-prepared powder paint. Well, like I said, we're also going to have a go at this. So uh, everybody will get one of these. This is a mortar and pestle. And you'll also have some chalk pastels. You will, of course, also have one egg each. Before we start any painting, we need to know what we're going to paint. Keep it simple. Okay, keep it simple. I'm going to do just a, uh, a little apple. Okay, so using a pencil, quickly sketch out your shape of whatever it is. Remember, I'm not marking the final piece here. It's more a practice of the, the technique itself is what we're interested in today. So just draw on some guidelines to help you. They won't show up very strongly, but you'll see a little bit. All right, so one person can do that. While that person is doing that, I would like one another person to start grinding up one piece of chalk. I'm going to take just a small bit, pop it into the uh, mortar here, and using this, we're going to just grind it up. So we're going to break it up. So this is what um, artists, or rather their assistants, would have done, is just to break down the rocks to form the pigment. Once you've got that, put the powder into the palette. Give it a little shake. You'll have a bit left over. You can wash that later. Okay. Now, to also then get um, some powder paint. That's my spoon. Spoon is helpful. And scoop a little of the powder, whatever color you want to use. I've got an apple. Mix up a bit of red. In case I want it darker, I'm also going to have a bit of black. Maybe even a little blue here as well. So you can mix up a variety of colors. All right. So this is the one that I ground up myself and the others are pre-done. Now, the egg. So this is the pigment. The egg would have been the binding agent that would have created the paint. Now at this point you need to be very precise. You don't want the whole egg. You don't want the white of the egg. What you want is the yolk, but even then you need to be quite specific. You don't just want the yolk. You want actually the yolk inside, not the yolk sac. So you've got a strainer here. Crack the egg into the bowl so the white will go into the bowl. And uh, gently, you don't want to break. You 
don't want to break the yolk. Use your fingers to pull it out. Yes, it is slimy. It won't kill you. Wash it off. You can always wash this off afterwards. Be patient. It takes a little time for it all to come through. Okay, so you should have something like this. Have some tissue nearby. That will help you too. This bit is quite stubborn. Really likes it. Okay, right, now you should have just the egg. Take your little paper cup, and this is where you need a toothpick. Okay, scoop the egg gently into your hands. Yes, it's slimy. No, it won't kill you. Now, gently using the toothpick, pierce the sack so that the yolk runs into the cup. You just squeeze that out. Oops. Okay, some of the white's gone in there. Never mind. Not the end of the world. No, scooped it out. Okay, and you should have egg yolk. This one you can throw away. You don't need that anymore. Wipe your hands off if you need to. You probably will. That's okay. All right, now, don't worry if it gets on this, that's okay. Now you are ready to mix up the paint. So, using your spoon, you can use the other end of it like this. Put in a bit of egg. And mix the paint into it. The more colour, the more pigment you put in, the darker it will be. You can do some test patches first if you like. See that's coming up a little bit watery, well not watery but quite thin. Okay, what happens if I add more More paint, more colour. Okay, it becomes darker and thicker. Okay, I'm going to just clean off my brush. I'm going to try it with the uh, powder paint that was already powdered. Interested to see if how that works. You don't need a lot of egg don't need that much egg and mix it up again do some test patches okay all right I'm quite happy with that color so I'm actually going to start putting it right on I'm going to put a bit of a base coat on first. It's pretty smooth. It's what I'm noticing so far. And what you guys will need to do is to make a note 
of how yours, how it feels, what it looks like, the texture. Okay, um, it's looking rather flat, so I'm going to try and create a bit of a, a darker color now. So I'm going to scoop up some red and add a bit of black into it, also with the egg. I'm going to add in some blue. I'm going to see now if I can blend that. Okay, it's sort of just pushing it around. So you can mix up the shades of the color you want, combine the powders in any amounts and then use that to, to actually paint. You can create your own combinations of color. You can also grind up more pastels if you can't get the color that you want. And keep painting. When you're done, wash everything up and put it over to dry.